Hey everybody, uh, thank you for following us on all social media platforms. This weekend we had hunting and fishing days at Johnny Logan College and uh, it was a really good weekend to meet, talk to people, share testimonies with a couple people. Um, I wanted to share something that happened after hunting and fishing days. Obviously the show ended yesterday and today is only Monday, but um, if you follow us on social media, you know that we gave away a custom duck call um, and we did this last year as well. And it was really cool what came out of us raffling the duck call off. So it turned out that the gentleman that won the duck call, he didn't, he wasn't even the one that gave his number to enter in the duck call. His wife <clears throat> entered him in uh, while he was at a booth next to us purchasing items, which is fine. That was, it was free to enter and it was good. But there was kind of a reason behind it. And um, some of the giveaways and some of the interactions that we've had with people that we've given stuff away to or uh, that I've had the privilege of talking to on the phone about, hey, you want a poster or uh, people at the event that was interested in some of my photography that was there and printed and not they didn't even care about the raffle. They were like, I just want that one printed off for my office or something. But with this duck call, um, this gentleman sent his wife um, to uh, pick up the duck call. And whenever I interacted with her, um, she was super friendly, um, very, very kind. And whenever I handed her the call, she said, I think I have something for you. And uh, how cool was that? I was like, what, what do you have to give to me? I know, like, you, you guys won the, won the call. But um, she w went to her vehicle, and she came back out, and she handed me this, this coin, which I don't know. How well you guys can see it through the video video or not um but she gave me this coin that i'm going to put on our podcast table and that's going to stay on that podcast table um for the life of all of uh team a wall's journey or wherever we go forward i'm going to give this to jonathan and cassie and that can sit in the the podcast room um but the coin has the full uh the scripture of ephesians 6 13 and 17 of the full armor of god put on the full armor of god and it has has a knight with a shield and a sword and then on the back of it it has all of the full armor of god so the belt the belt of truth the sandals of the gospel of peace the sword of the spirit uh the blessed breastplate plate of righteousness the helmet of salvation and the shield of faith and it's stamped all around the side of that and i was just blown away that the person that we picked uh or the person that randomly put in and uh, talked to somebody, maybe she talked to Aaron, maybe she talked to me, maybe she talked to Jonathan, I'm not sure who at the booth that she talked to, but this just shows, um, I got questioned today, um, you know, what's the end goal of White Oak Legends? Like, what are you trying to get out of it? What were you trying to get out of going to hunting and fishing days and setting up a booth? What do you want out of it? You want followers? You want recognition? Do you want you know, obviously there's not any monetary value, um, uh, consumption of it, but, um, the whole event, uh, walking away from it, being, um, in Southern Illinois, going to the event for many years of my life, even this really, really small, I knew the events, I knew how big of a thing hunting and fishing days used to be to Southern Illinois, and it's, it's not what it was, uh, but the fact that, um, it was more geared towards just family doing stuff together in the outdoors. Um, uh, it wasn't as much as geared towards specific hunting and fishing activities and that to me was a little bit of a letdown. But us being there um, as a ministry, we did get to share our testimony with a couple people. We heard other people's testimonies. Uh, we met a gentleman that, a younger guy um, that had a hunting accident and um, wasn't clipped in and fell out of a deer stand is he was like, you know, a couple seconds away from clipping into his lifeline and he had a tree stand accident and he, um, you know, he had pre like life long, um, um, problems coming from that. And he, he kind of shared his testimony that, you know, he was lucky that he survived and w was lucky that he was okay and well enough. And, um, he's already following, um, uh, all of our social media, you know, already appreciating our ministry, already going to follow along. And, and I hope that that uh, continues. And um, if if we just reach one person, if we win one person to the kingdom and they get, uh, uh, 
you know, if, if they are able to, through us, uh, build a relationship with God themselves and make it mean something for themselves, not their parents, not um, a family member, um, if, if it's real, authentic um, truth finding that they find through what we put out in all of our content, then, then it will be worth it. Um, right now, we may seem just like hobbyists or probably m more people um, kind of say like, oh, you guys got a lot of time on your hands if you have, uh, have to be able to edit videos or, you know, redo the Hummer behind me all the time and put it out on social media or whatever. But um, incorporating more faith-based stuff into it, um, it, it it's, it's what I feel is the long-term effects. I don't know if it'll end up as, you know, somebody coming out of a duck blind getting baptized in the lake. I don't know. It could, and that would be amazing. And what a memory that would hold and a testimony for somebody um, and to interact with all types of people and generations that that could affect. Um, I, we have already planned in the future for possible, like, <clears throat> quarterly uh, outdoor services and having special speakers. And because of that event this weekend, we met a couple people that could maybe be the person coming and speaking at one of those events later in the future. So um, I just wanted to share that cool, cool thing that happened um, just over one interaction and uh, spreading the good news. And it, uh, it blessed me to know that um, what we're doing is, is not empty. It's, it has a limitless potential. So uh, thank you all for sharing, liking, subscribing, following us. Um, Hopefully we're encouraging and uplifting and hopefully that, that continues to be that and you share it. And uh, if you ever uh, are in need of prayer or anything that our ministry could possibly provide, um, we've had people that uh, don't hunt and they want their kids to get into hunting and we've had those conversations with people and that's really cool. We have um, the availability with uh, Jonathan having a pond at his house and both of us having a limitless number of fishing equipment to teach a kid how to fish or teach you how to teach your kid to fish and help them do that and um, being an outdoorsman uh, is is a lifelong gift that we get to have uh, through generations and through all different walks of life and types of people and having social media as an outlet as we get to connect with people uh, from all the, all the different states and uh, walks of life and backgrounds and we just want to continue that and branch uh, out as far as far as we can and we know that um, when you share the gospel or anything faith-based it's probably not something that hasn't ever been said before it's never you know you can't be unique unique enough about it uh, probably you're gonna hear the same cliche things that somebody else might say but maybe with our spin of the outdoors or uh, through our individual testimonies that me, Jonathan, Cassie, Aaron, Corey, we all have um, that that reaches somebody in a, in a different light and it makes um, the revelation even more real to them. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting our ministry uh, and our journey and our mission and our assignment that we've been given. So. Thank you guys. Stay tuned. We'll have more content. Bow season is Sunday here in Illinois. October 1st is Illinois bow season. And uh, we've got some big bucks on camera. So stick around. We're going to have some deer hunting footage. See you guys.